Turns out there are not difficulty settings in this game, unfortunately. So, let's get started in crew area. Yeah! 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 Fortunately, we weren't that far in. It's probably a bit loud. Alright, I forgot to... Weird, we stopped shooting. Weird. Anyway, whoa. It's, it's a very easy to replicate bug that... Right, how do I... Oh, menu. Not sure why I tried to do that again. Apparently we're only one third of the way through the game. Looks like there's only two areas left, but maybe there's more maps or something. Yeah, yeah. I really hate that I get control for a second and then it pauses it on me. It's like, oh hey, let's get in the game. Oh. Also, I hope the game music isn't a bit too loud. It it sounds loud for me, but it's because my mic isn't really set up to be recording anything but my voice. It's actually since it's a gaming headset, it's supposed to not be capture oh, capturing you know game audio that much or you know at all. And unfortunately, it doesn't do a good job of. Uh, noise canceling at all or insulating from sounds. I'm not sure I'm bothering to kill that. Oh. We gotta see the butter monster again. Help me, please. There's butter everywhere. It's in my raccoon wounds. Yeah, yeah, you're butter monster. I get it. I really regret saying that they look. It looks like butter because now that's all I can. I. I can't see that yellow stuff without thinking butter. I'm sorry. It could use a more sickly pale color. With the rich yellow, it just really does look like butter, I'm afraid. Yeah. Yeah. You become like a knight of Olympus or some crap. Really, I can just stand here and shoot you, can't I? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I meant to mention... As w with the new enemy types, um, a common solution to, you know, the problem I had where I saw that new enemy type that looked cool, and then it instantly died. Well, what some games do is you, the first enemy you see of a certain type is way tougher than normal in terms of how long it takes to kill. That lets you get used to the new enemy type and, you know, see what it does in action without, you know, just killing it immediately. So, even if it's a pretty weak enemy, you get to see what it does, and you know, you get to experience it, because new enemies are fun. Like this guy, this weird... whatever the crap. Right or left? This looks more like... Aww! I chose poorly. I bet there was some, like, unlockable item or some crap in that room. Now I missed it forever. Or more accurately, to the next ow, time I play that room, which will probably be never, because I'll never think to backtrack. Oh well. We're dying, by the way. There's lots of flying things that are exploding in all directions. Well, exploding in eight directions. Stop that! Do not do that while I am trying to fly. Or float in the air. More like fall. What's that? It's like... I guess that's like a blue key card. I don't know. Stupid one-way air vents, what? Oh, I get it. It's a blue key card and it opens blue doors. Okay, so the colors have meaning. It's always good for colors to have meaning. We got blue bullets. Damage upgrade. Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of expecting our bullets to look a little different. Maybe blue. But they don't. Commander's Log. Date unknown, place unknown. Several crew members have been put have been put in detention due to their violent behavior. More and more people are getting affected with this illness, whatever it is. This could not be happening at a worse time, or a spookier one. Today, Dr. O'Connor privately admitted to me that she has no idea what is causing this. Fucking scientists. Pompous, useless pricks with a degree. It's, it's so much worse when someone admits that they don't know what's going on. You know, it's much better when people, like, just make up stuff. That's really the difference between scientists and, you know, 
normal dumbasses. And people really do get the impression, you know, dumb people do get the impression that, you know, scientists, you know, don't know what they're doing because, oh, they admit when they don't know stuff instead of just lying or making stuff up. You know, that should be a reason to trust someone when they're willing to admit when they don't know what's going on or, you know, they're not 100% sure about something. But too many people don't appreciate that. I also don't know where the hell I'm going. Hopefully you won't think I'm stupid and you will think I'm smart because I've admitted that. But no, really, I I went the only two directions I could go up there and I got a blue key card, so that's cool. All right, there's a blue door that we glitched through, isn't there? Probably stop dying at some point. Yeah, there's a blue door. See, I could have admitted that I knew this blue door was here, but I did not. So I valued the truth. Stop puking on me, you sick freak! Anyway, well, one way. Ah! That's mean. Making me drop onto stuff like that is lame. But not the biggest deal. Sort of. Chief Medical Officer's log. Blah, blah, blah. How long have we been stuck here for? I don't really know what is happening. They don't tell me much. I can see that the whole crew is affected by stress, particularly the commander. He's a freaking psycho crazy bitch. Many have asked me for sleeping pills. I think this trip is not going as planned. You think? Really? I, I thought this was exactly how they planned it. I mean, I'm pretty sure they had like a whole storyboard and they're like, yeah, so we're going to go into jump space and we're all going to start slowly turning into monsters and leaving creepy log messages for the unwitting hero that comes on board. I thought this, that's what those space guys lived for. Being props in a horror movie. I thought that was the only reason to go into space. Aside from being a space janitor. Seems to be an oddly popular... Oops. Yes. Yes, I do. Where do I... St oh, back here. Oh, well. I think I keep all my stuff and I die, fortunately. Yeah, you're gross, we know. Well, at least I started dying, so you know. Those corpses disappear really fast. We, we. Okay, let's not tempt fate. I thought I could duck under the explodey bacon stuff. Not bacon. Um, butter. I'm thinking bacon because I just got the baconing yesterday. And it's an awesome game, by the way. I haven't gotten very far, like, at all. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never played a Dust Bank game before. I got the demo of the first one, but I wasn't feeling very into RPGs. Speaking of RPGs, Disgaea 4 is coming out in, what, a week? And it's gloriously awesome, just like every Disgaea game, so I'm getting it. Chief Medical Officer's Log. I have identified several cases of paranoia of various degrees. Given our current situation, stress and anxiety is to be expected by several characters cases of acute paranoia? Could this be some kind of cabin fever? Are they plotting against me? Oh god, they're everywhere! Oh god, please help me. Our group hysteria? Some crew members are showing this the most debilitating paranoia I've seen in my entire career. It's like they're doing it just to spite me. It's like everyone's doing everything just to spite me. Heavy breathing. A few have suffered mental breakdown as a result. We found James Curtis, a lower deck engineer, walking around the ship naked. He had coated his entire body with butter! I mean, yellow paint. We had to separate him for the rest of the crew. <laughs> I was half expecting it to say butter. Stupid font! Stop doing that! The situation is getting worse. We had to isolate several crew members. This is supposed to be a female voice, isn't it? I think. They had some continuity, continuity going on with this... The, the logs, but I completely forgot it already. We had to isolate several crew members to ensure everyone's security, including the patients themselves. That's what a straitjacket is for, buddy, ma'am, whatever you are. The symptoms are consistent. It begins with a strong paranoia with psychopathic tendencies and strong hallucinations. This is followed by aggressive and violent behavior and self-mutilation. Don't you have, like, antipsychotics aboard, or, you know, all sorts of crap? I mean, this is space. 
Shouldn't we have like all sorts of pills to cure all sorts of random crap? A peculiar, that is a weird capital A by the way. A p peculiar feature of this disease is that patients show the same obsession with the color yellow. Well, maybe they just like butter. Maybe they're like the king of town. And my arrow keys stopped. Okay, there we go. See that stupid font thingy, stop changing. I command thee. Also, what is with these... This is the weirdest layout for a lounge ever. I do approve of the brand of blood on the walls, but... Yeah, a little nice... Oh, I caused that, didn't I? Well, let's go down. Spooky red light, so no. I was, just, I was just about to praise you for not doing the annoying do 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 sound effect, but it's not really as loud. Oh, hello. Hey, buddy. What's going on? You looking? You looking a little stressed, there, buddy? You feeling paranoid? I hear that's going around. Stop puking butter at me! Swear to God, if you people don't stop puking butter at me, I'm gonna file a complaint with HR. Really? That's a boss? Really? He's freaking out of health already. And he's got like three attacks. You better be a two-part boss, but I bet you're not. Gross. Oh well. We're less than a third, well we're now more than a third of the way through. But, I do hope it gets harder. Spooky. Shit! Everything is broken in our power, goddammit. Okay, calm down. Calm the fuck down! If I'm gonna die, I'm taking those yellow bastards with me. I'll go to the engine deck and fuck shit damn! Bastard! Hell! Poop! Destroy the generator. Yes. It's cursing time. random monitors everywhere. I guess we're on the bridge. I guess that was the bridge and we just completely passed it. And here's like the secondary or tertiary bridge that's just one screen. Hey, I didn't even get to kill you. Or did I? I guess I may have just killed that one while shooting randomly because it's kind of what this game is all about. Oh well. Wee. Spooky. Spooky. Are you spooked yet? Oh, it's those little explodey arachnid thingies. Bugs. I don't know what to call them. This room's randomly bright. Let's see what's up here first. Uh, oh. We need a purple card key. And I bet if I jump at these... Whoa, what? I didn't want to fall in that random brightly lit pit with some sort of weird medical station, I guess, thing. Am I like the medical deck? Whoa. Oh yeah, this is definitely the medical deck. You can always tell by the mutilated bodies on stretchers. They pretty much always seem to have these in space stations. I'm not really sure why. Oh well. Lots of nice scary instruments. All mounted for the stabbing and cutting. It's always fun. Bah! It's giving me such a headache, there's so much st stabby metal stuff around. And butter all over my boots. Making it hard to not run forward. Ew. You're turning into a moth queen, we get it. Sergey, I was waiting for you. I knew you are afraid because of a frickin' butter monster. I know you must feel lost and confused. This is because you don't understand what is happening here. Vior trying to stop the most important thing that will ever happen to humanity. A new age is here, Sergey. The yellow light of butter will glisten upon the mankind, bringing its high trans fat content to all of the nations. Open yourself and join us in the buttery dripping light. Who the fuck are you? I am the messenger of the light. Follow us. All you have to do is let us in. Let the trans fat flow through you. Stay still, close your eyes, and let the yellow come into your soul. As it drips slowly and thickly and full of cholesterol. 
don't move. That's it, Sergey. Can I shoot you? Sweet! I can't shoot you! No! Are these, like, inverse lights? Oh, they're blocks. I was like, what? Are these, like, lights that emit blackness? I want lights that emit blackness. That would be the coolest and physically impossiblest thing ever. Like, for real black lights. That would be awesome. Hey, buddy. What's going on here? Some sort of weird dance party? I'm cool with that. Where'd your face go? And your head? Oh, well. Kids these days. Let's see what's in here since we ignored it. I assume it must be an item because it seems like it should be a pretty short room. Um, I would just like to remind everyone that this space is physically impossible given the outside of this corridor. Just thought I would mention that. Also, look how hard this is. I'm running in one direction and shooting. It's like I'm holding down two whole buttons. It's really hard. Oh, it's one of those things. That thing hits straight to my health? Well, that's kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, let's not go that way yet. I guess I can stop constantly shooting now. Oh, you are getting kind of staticky and creepy. Press spacebar. That guy can type frickin' fast with one frickin' hand and finger. I am no longer in command of the ship. I lost all control over the crew. Everybody has gone mad. They seem to have formed some kind of cult, and they all wear yellow. They, you know, none of the people we've encountered so far have been actually wearing yellow. They've all been wearing green. I just thought I would say that. I lock myself up in the bridge. If one of these yellow fuckers tries to come in, I'll blast his head off. You scientist assholes, is all their fault. I hope to kill a lot of them before I die. Yeah, you're... Pretty fucking crazy, buddy. And again, I guess everybody's pretty fucking crazy, but still. And see, this is definitely green. This is this is not yellow. Nothing has been wearing yellow. Oh well. Oh, sweetness. Yeah. Not that we really need it. Well, I guess if anything, our health has been like we could use more health, we could just use a lot less being able to kill things. We kind of have a great excess of ability to kill things. For example, that. We're also in great excess of almost no running animation. We've got like four frames of animation for running. Oh well. Stop barfing on my feet. Oh well. I knew there'd be an item there. Oops. So look at that. Those two corridors would not fit together. Oh well. Stop barfing on me. Damn it. See, even the cultist guys are kind of weak. what I guess those are supposed to be. Cultist type assholes. Ow. Whoa, did... Oh, I can dash! Holy crap, when did that happen? Actually, this armor may have given me that ability and I just completely forgot to read. There's a description, I think, when it, we got it. I, I don't... I, I can't check it and I don't really care enough to do anything about that. Let's stay away from that thing, though. Woo! That was fun. Whoa. Let's yeah, just run... Th oh, right. Running through it would not be recommended because of the whole experience thing, too. So that's very unfortunate. An aspect of survival horror games, which, again, this really isn't a survival -y game, but running away is often a good option. It's usually not the one I take, but... You know, that's a good scary thing, is making people run instead of fight. But I usually just kill everything anyway. I mean, sometimes the combat system of game is just so painful that running is perfectly acceptable in that sense, but generally that's more of a sign 
of a terrible game. Like, because even in Silent Hill, where you know it's hard, to, it's kind of hardish to kill stuff, you know, with a random piece of wood. It's still really fun to beat the st crap out of stuff, especially with the steel pipe. The steel pipe is just awesome. Every game should have a steel pipe where you can beat stuff with. I'm not sure if I could pick between a steel pipe and a crowbar, though. The, some decisions are just too large for one man to make. Oh, hello. You're pretty gross. Is it boss time now? Whoa! It's like a big yellow pom-pom with, like, spooky eyes coming out of it. So can I hurt that thing? Apparently I can. Once again, this boss dies insanely quickly. I never should have gotten the spread gun. It's ridiculously overpowered. Like, ridiculously, ridiculously overpowered. Gross. Well, that was still easy. Well, next episode we go to the engine room, which is... A room full of engines, Cheryl. Yeah.